Okay, we're back with another Slubin video. This time it's the uh, first time we're doing a girls themed set. Uh, this one is a girls shopping plaza. And you can see this one here it comes with like um, a bunch of tables, a whole bunch of figures. Uh, I think the tables have uh, little pieces of food and silverware, plates, things like that. And um, I guess this is kind of like a shopping area or maybe the, the restaurant, but, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll put this thing together. Um, these are uh, Slubin building blocks. These are not Legos. These are what you would call like a Lego alternative. These are like uh, cheaper, lower cost Lego compatibles. They're similar to like, uh, I guess, Mega Blocks or uh, I don't know. I can't think of many other imitation Legos. Um, there just isn't a lot of them. Uh, with these particular sets, uh, part of the reason I'm making these videos is you just don't see much about these at all. Uh, they don't seem to have any reviews when you look at them and uh, people just don't seem to even really know they exist. So uh, anyway, we're gonna put together this set and kind of show you what it's about and you can see firsthand what it's like and um, how the set goes together. So, all right, let's put these things together. Um, before we start, let me just mention that uh, these things are directly from China. I imported a couple of crates of these and these particular boxes are completely in Chinese. There's no um, English on the packages really, but um, the instructions are entirely just pictures and numbers. So there's no real issue with putting these things together. There's like, no like language barrier or anything like that. that uh, you're not gonna be able to figure out how to do it. But anyway, let's, let's have at it. You want to start putting it together? Go ahead. Let's open this guy up. Open him up. Pull him out. All right. So the first thing you probably notice is, um, unlike Legos, they don't number the bags. So you don't really know what order to put the bags in unless maybe you try to look at them and figure out what parts are in what bag. Um, I don't think that's too big of a deal. Typically what I do is I just kind of crack them all open, put them into a big pile. Okay. So now we're, um, basically all I did was I sorted these things into the different colors. And then uh, these guys here, I sort into the higher profile and the thinner profile pieces, um, just because I think it's easier to find them later on when you're when you're looking for them. So here's the instruction manual. Take a quick look. You can see in there that the uh, assembly instructions are really just the pictures of the blocks, how to assemble them. You can see right there. They're pretty. Um, I guess pretty standard type instructions. There's nothing really out of the ordinary there. Okay, so you ready to start putting this thing together? Yeah? Let's go. All right. Well, the first thing it says is to put together the tables and the figures. So let's go ahead and put those together. So, we got the little uh, guys together. So, um, if you're not familiar with these guys, I mean, they're very similar to Lego type guys. Um, these guys in particular, their legs are a little rounded. I'm not sure if you could see that. They're not quite as square. Um, these are almost like, uh, I don't know. Some of these things are kind of androgynous. Uh, this guy here is like a little businessman, but he has a little, uh, little Beatles haircut. It's kind of interesting, but anyway, the uh, the legs are similar to Legos. You know, they've got the little holes in the legs, and on the you know little butt areas that you can sit them in seats and stuff. They they stand and plug into place. Um, this set's a little interesting. It's got a couple of people with, without legs. They're just like these big dresses that they're in. This little ladies like that. But anyway, they're kind of good. I think it's standard fare. Yeah. Mm. 
There's another little Beatles haircut. I think this one's Paul. Well, anyway. All right, you wanna go with step one? We'll go with step one. Step one is putting this guy together. All right, so we got step one done. Hopefully you can see that. We're laying the foundation there. Not too shabby so far. Do you want to say something? No. No? All right. So that's step one. Let's go to step two. All right. We're done with step two. Let's see, we just got a little more of the foundation. Um, one thing that's probably worth pointing out is some of these long pieces, these big flat pieces down here, they're kind of difficult to push on. Um, they've got to be really lined up right, and there's a lot of little pegs and holes in that one. So you really need them all lined up right, and then you got to push. So um, if you do have a, somebody young playing with these, like somebody that's right around, uh, well, for starters, nobody less than six should be putting these together. But um, even if you have somebody that's right around six, my daughter's uh, four and a half right now. She's having a hard time with some of these bigger pieces. The force is just seems to take a lot, but uh, you're probably gonna have to help out as an adult if if your kid is, is right around six years old. But anyway, we'll keep going. We'll go with step three. All right, can you see these guys here? Can you find more of them, the big tall guys? Okay, so here's step three. It's coming together pretty nice. We got, uh, got some windows in there. You can see that they open and close pretty nice. Um, like a little two-tiered, I guess, threshold or little steps maybe to, to go up in. Um, it's coming along pretty good. Yeah, we can get a treat. All right. Here's step five. Coming along pretty nice. Step five. Pretty nice. Pretty fancy. We got some um, some railings there and some spindles there. Looks pretty good. We go to step six. Step sticky. We got to find one of these little roof pieces. All right, step six, not so bad. Focused a little bit more on the detail up there. Some stuff with the railings. Go to seven. You see we need one of these guys. Okay, so this is step seven. A little more of the house put together there. Not too shabby, I kind of like it. Uh, this set I'm kind of liking so far. Um, my one complaint was that these bigger pieces down here, and then and then this, this is a huge piece here. Those are kind of difficult to get on. But um, some of the other stuff I like is that they're not really like padding the park count here. You know, sometimes uh, you see this with Legos too, and, and you see it with other sets where um, I think they just want to make the park count number higher and um, some things like there's these long columns here. Um, I don't know if you could see that. That's just one long piece. I, I've seen other sets where like that might be six pieces and then you know the equivalent, there's a whole bunch of them here and then the back one here, obviously you know in the corner here. Uh, you know each one of those might be eight pieces and then you've got like 10 of them so you're up to 80 pieces. Uh, they didn't do that here. This is all one piece, one piece, one piece. And then coming across back here, there's a lot of long pieces uh, involved with those last couple of steps that were just one piece. So um, it's kind of good. The bigger pieces are nicer because I, I think, you know, in the end, it's a little stronger when it goes together. 
and then um, it's a little easier to handle the, the bigger pieces. Um, I mean, these bigger flat pieces aren't so much easier, but the bigger normal pieces are. So um, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with it so far. So let's go to step eight. Go flippy, flippy. <laughs> Corner one. All right, so this is step number eight. We finished that guy up. Um, let me just show him from this point of view. So you have the thresholds coming together there. Uh, we got the little awnings. I don't know if you could see those. That's a pretty nice touch. I like those. Um, again, th this is the bigger, longer pieces I was talking about. They're kind of nice. Makes it strong when it goes together. So, all right, let's go on to step nine. Okay, we finished up step nine. So it's looking pretty good. Got the roof on there. Got these doors. The doors didn't go on super easy. They were kind of tight, but uh, they move well now that they're in. Uh, the roof there is in. This set is uh, this is surprisingly strong. I uh, I really didn't think that this was um, going to be this stiff. That's kind of a nice surprise that it's um, this thing is really together. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I could just drop this now and not have it do anything to it. Uh, that's pretty unusual for uh, these type sets in general. I mean, even, even with Legos, it's, it's the same way. Legos tend to smash on you when you play with them too much. This, this one's like pretty solid, but anyway, we'll keep going. Step 10. Okay, we finished step 10. Um, wasn't a whole lot going on there. There's, I guess, what's the foundation for the second floor there. This thing kind of capped up off the bottom, or capped off the top, rather. It's kind of the back. The back has kind of like a dollhouse feel, it's just kind of open. But anyway, we'll go on to step 11. There's a lot going on in this step. Here's step 11. You got the start of the second floor going on there. We've got, uh, I don't know, these little gate things going, little pillars. Kind of nice. Not too much. Looked like a lot more in the instructions. Had a little bit of an inventory management problem there for a while. But anyway, we'll go to step 12. We got step 12. We got uh, these railings going on there. Some stuff going up there with the windows. Shot from the back. Step 13, a little better. I actually had the windows uh, mounted flush, and I could tell on this step that they weren't supposed to be flush. They should be out ahead a little bit. Um, no big deal, just pop them out, move them, move them ahead a notch.
Pikachu. Okay, we're at step 15 now. Um, wound up putting these little doors in up here. <laughs> Just like a uh, little header. Got some more of the awnings going on over there. It's pretty good. It's going together well. Um, these Slubin blocks, uh, they feel very similar to Legos, but they do have a little bit of a lighter feel. The plastic isn't quite as hard, um, but I'd say it's probably 80, 90% of the way there, maybe. Um, it's difficult to judge, you know. I don't, have a, I don't have any real objective way of measuring it other than my feel, which isn't too objective, so. Um, anyway, we'll continue on, go to step 16. Step 16, got more of the awning going on, got the corner pieces, got uh, you know more of this guy going on up here, more of that awning. Um, Seventeen. Okay, we just finished step 17. You can see where we're at. This guy's really taking shape now. All that stuff's kind of together. Uh, these guys over here, whoop, starting to look like it's done. We got the starting and a little menu down there. All right, let's keep going. Let's show them the stickers. All right. So we got the stickers on. I don't know if you could see them. Lighting's kind of kind of shoddy. But um, one of the complaints I have with these sets is the instructions never really seem to tell you where to put the stickers. So the way I always do it is I wind up just looking at the box and seeing how how they're put on in, in there. Um, it's kind of annoying. I kind of wish they would just tell you in the instructions, but it's no big deal. Um, this up here, this sticker goes across two pieces, which uh, in my mind is kind of a no-no. I mean, if you want to take this thing apart, modify it, I mean, you, you're you're kind of restricting yourself by putting a sticker across two pieces there. So um, that's kind of a ding against it. I don't really care for that. Um, other than that, the set is uh, pretty much done. There's some tables and chairs we got to put together. That was actually in step one. I kind of skipped over that. Uh, so we'll have at it and, and put them on now. Um, one of the things I should point out is uh, there's little tablecloths for these tables. But they're not actually stickers, they're just little pieces of paper, and they just kind of sit on the table there. And, um, and I don't really like that. I think they're just kind of kind of wobble around when she's playing with them. So I kind of grabbed this tape gun. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever used these things before, but this is a, a double-sided uh, tape. And this is really useful for a lot of things. Uh, not necessarily these Slubin sets, but just a little shout out to uh, the Scotch. ATG 700. Not it's not really meant for working with things this tiny, but uh, it still does the job. Can I put this on the chair, Daddy? Can I put this? Yep, on? go ahead and put it on. We're done with the table, um, kind of reflecting too much light there to kind of come out too good. Um, these things aren't so bad. Let me see if I can adjust this lighting a little bit. These things aren't so bad. I mean, they came out pretty good. The picture has the tablecloth on there kind of cat-a-corner. 
Um, I don't like a caddy corner, so I just kind of put it straight up on. Uh, my one complaint with these is once they're together, they're pretty good. Um, but mounting this uh, umbrella pole to the table, that took a lot of force. Uh, there was no way my daughter was going to be able to seat that correctly. But uh, once it's in, it's pretty stable. Seems to hold pretty good. Um, anyway, I'm going to pop the food out of the uh, little little brackets there and we'll, we'll set up the scene and have it going. All right, Katie Bugs. Can we can we set this guy here just for the little scene? That's a good bubble. Okay, so we got the little scene together here. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't know. I'm not really sure that it matters how you how you lay this guy out. Um, let me take the um, camera down and show a little better angle of what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in here, show you what it looks like. There's another guy with the Beatles hair cut. I think that one is George. No, it isn't. Uh, he's eating uh, some bread there. They all seem to be eating. This guy's little silverware, his cup. Seems to be enjoying himself. He's missing a uh, knife. This nice waitress there is coming to bring him his knife. Uh, these two are here enjoying their drinks. Uh, what do we got here? This guy over there, one of the other beetles is over there. See if we could zoom in on him. Uh, this lady's up there with her cup. She's kind of toasting everybody. This guy's back here with his cup. He's a little drink and everything. And um, it's kind of a neat set overall. I mean, you can see there's a, uh, a million little pieces that come with this thing. Uh, with the silverware and all the um, little pieces of bread, I guess. Uh, there's a lot of figures in here. What is there, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think they gave us eight people. Yeah, eight people. So um, it's a pretty good set. I mean, these things right now, um, normally I sell them for $30. Uh, when I'm making this video, I've got it down to around $20 now. I'm trying to get more reviews on them. Um, so, I mean, for $20, I think this is a, a fantastic deal. I mean, there's just a ton of pieces here. And when you compare this with, like, a Lego set, I mean, yeah, it's not it's not quite the same. You know, it's not trademarked after a, uh, you're going to play with that. All right, Caitlin's playing with that. Um it's not trademarked after any of the, the latest cartoons or anything like that, but it's um it's pretty neat. It's a pretty simple set. And um it's got uh just I don't know, kind of neat detail. It's got the little awnings in there, all the little people. It uh works out pretty well. So um anyway, we'll see you next time and we'll do another video. Thanks.